I just want you to know And this be from Cash, not from YouTube Call him Max because you wavy Shoot him on shot like I'm KD This not a game, don't you play me Attitude stinks, so you parry G Bro, eyes on the back, I don't feel why every time I try to start the video, a plane comes? It's like, anyways, you rolled up already, or is this cheating if I light it with the windows open? I'm scared. You, Mr. Kingston, you say you have it, you be a tendenza. I think I like your style, why out, why don't we let go? Hey, Boy, me soon left, stop, stop, rest the fire I think gas is like 419 right now, so I have no business doing any of that. But hey guys, welcome or welcome back to High Sintetti. What's going on? Y'all got an attitude or what? If you got an attitude, you can tell me. You got an attitude? So y'all wanna know my business or like, let's move past it. Was it March Women's Month? I could do what I want. I'm human. Okay, things happen. I'm back with another hot box. So I have recently discovered that, um, this is not for me. Where's the pink one? Did I have a pink one? Anyway, um, yeah, this shit is not for me. By this shit, I mean working. So, yeah, uh, here we are again in the same boat. I've come to the realization that... No. <laughs> it doesn't matter where I am, like, corporations, like, corporate jobs. It's not for your girl. In the slightest, so... I guess this video is gonna be about my absence. No, it's not, it's not. We're just gonna touch on it for a little bit. I have been like battling with myself and I realized that I have been very unhappy doing shit the way that, like, okay, how do I put this? Okay, with me, if I don't like a situation, I'm gonna take myself out of that situation. I'm gonna find every way to take myself out of that situation, right? So I realized I cannot be going to the same type of jobs and i don't even go to the same type of jobs it's just like i cannot work like this i realize like i just cannot do this shit like and i understand there's no a lot of people would say like there's no blueprint for like doing the type of work that i want to do but there kind of has been like people tell you like oh yeah you have to be at work and then after that you have to be willing to put in the work and like lose all type of sleep and like yeah you gotta grind it out and it's just like that is unhealthy i have been feeling guilty for resting i'm exhausted like i'm really exhausted like this is not okay i'm going ham and it's just like i'd be talking about the people at work that be going ham for nothing because it's like everybody relax but I'm not realizing like even in my own life I'm causing chaos not chaos but like I'm causing it to be unbalanced because I don't know how to balance myself out and as a Libra that's what I'm looking for like if we're at a balance like we're going crazy <laughs> like bro the scale has to be let me put this down the scale has to be balanced bro like if it's not like if we're like this like it's over so I was battling with the universe behind the scenes. Of course, I came out the winner because guess who's back? I just made that realization. I was just like, bro, how do I keep on running away to like, I have like so much experience and shit that I don't care about at all. So I ended up um, looking into something that I would love. I would truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you just like put out that good energy, like, Listen, if you are rocking with the team, if you on the team, this is for the team. Oh, speaking of for the team, while I was gone, I dropped two new soaps. Pause. That was childish. I dropped two new products. I dropped two soaps. One is called Angel Face. Oatmeal, milk, and honey. Um, That's great for the most sensitive. One day, I'm going to make a video about all of my products. I'm going to make a video about my brand. Y'all better not skip over it because I know how you like to get. Stop being like that. Click the link. Like buy a little something like get a little something get a little something listen treat yourself babe come on stop oh and the second one is called cosmo that's for the men because it has a more masculine fragrance it smells so good it's like citrusy you could use it if you're a girl but it's just a little bit more like potent this is another video for that we're gonna get into that this video is about whatever i wanted to be about hold on who's chilling with this but yeah basically i'm just working towards 
we're working towards being a better us is that right because what you got going on i'm just tired of complaining about the same thing and i've realized that a continuous thing that i'm always complaining about is working like i hate it like i will go to work because i don't want to be on the streets you know what i'm saying okay let's talk about this job that i'm at right now well, i started this job january 3rd it is Today is April 2nd. I just feel like my mind has been in a whirlwind ever since I signed up for this, okay? These people are nuts. I'm not gonna check my phone during this time because what? Oh, okay, so I changed my number like two months ago. I still don't know it. <laughs> How I still don't know my number, like that is crazy. I don't even think I updated my complex on a number change like i am the type of person that i'd be wanting to change my whole life in a day <laughs> it's so bad like it's so bad i just cannot i just cannot like i cannot stay still anyways what was i saying before stop playing what was i saying before stop playing oh these people are fucking crazy right so before i'm like yeah these people are a little bit nuts but i can deal still right so bitch i cannot deal remember when i was telling y'all like do you think ever since the pandemic like you're more intolerable of people. I was working from home when I had first started YouTube. Then remember they had to force me back into the office. Then I was not having it. Remember I told you I was not having it. Um, boom, bam, bow. I ended up at the place that I'm at right now. Um, I forgot my purpose in to giving y'all that rundown. Whose grandpa is this? I'm trying to figure out whose grandfather is this. Not Gramps. That's a fly ass jacket though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, look at how he's standing. He used to be a pimp back in the day. Okay, stop. Oh, my point in saying all of that is that I was by myself for almost two solid years. You know what I'm saying? During that time, things have happened. I have grown as a person. I have like, you know, went through things. I like, you know, stuff was going on. So here's the thing. Me, like, I am a natural loner. When you're forcing me into situations where I have to communicate, it's just like, oh no, like, oh no, no, no. <laughs> I can only connect with people on a natural, like, level because it's like, People are strange and I'm super sensitive so I'm automatically gonna feel that shit and be like, okay, yeah, no, I'm cooking. Now, like orientation, if you put me in a room and say like, yeah, introduce yourself right now, like that is the worst shit ever. <laughs> that is the fucking worst. Like, okay, so y'all yeah, just want me to talk in front of these people that I don't know right now. Like y'all want me to say what? My favorite food is what? <laughs> like, what are we doing this for? So boom, at a last job, they put me in something like that. I was telling some people that I was smoking with the day before, I was like, listen, I cannot do this. Like, if they put me in that orientation room and they start to talk about some, yeah, introduce yourself, like, I'm just going to fall out. I go to this place late. I'm texting them like, yeah, I'm late. We already in another room. Like, they all smiling at me and shit. So they probably already did their little thing. Cool. No. Yeah, introduce yourself. <laughs> say i was a cool 30 minutes late so y'all should have been got at them but yeah i forgot what i had said but everybody's dying i'm like okay yeah move on shorty across from me what type of music you like i'm like wait a minute because nobody else got interviewed <laughs> like what the hell i already went through the interview process what are you doing what artist are you listening to right now so would you ever move back to new york We can move on. I just don't like force interactions. Like you can't, I just, you see, it's just not good when you force it, right? Boom. At his job, I already sensed that these people was nuts. It wasn't a type of situation where it's just like, um, hey, sit in a room, like training, training. It was more so a get your ass in there. So there's that. It was more so of a get your ass in there type of vibe. So let me fast forward. Boom, bitch, I'm like, what? February, March. I blink, I'm there three months. Like, I just blinked. <laughs> I blinked at it. <laughs> Bitch, I just blink and it's like, oh shit, it's April. Like, okay, I'm here on a Friday. It's April 1st. Like, what? I'm the fool. I'm the fool because I'm still here. Like, and I just don't like it. So basically, I'm going to tell you why. Mind you, it's three months, but it's just like, yeah, shit's not getting better. In a wake and bake, I tell you about that crazy lady that she be coming up talking about, I need my stuff. I need my stuff. It was just, it's like, it's a lot of details that you just got to remember. Like, you just have to know that shit. 
and if you don't know it after the first time that they tell you like oh and i'd be like why are you stressing out like it's really not a deal it's just i don't be taking shit as serious it's just i don't know then i start to doubt myself like am i not a good citizen you know what i'm saying am i not a law abiding i mean you know for the most part you think you could talk to me how you want to talk to me you think you could talk to me how you want to talk to me you teetering on a line like you trying to test it well long story short one day i was in there going up like every time i see these people attempted to try me it's just like i had to remind them listen i didn't even know what the hell is going on in this place corporate emailed me like i don't need this shit like i'd be going oh and then my co-workers like Oh yeah, but like, you know when they act like that, you just learn how to conform, you just learn how to So, oh yeah, that's not a job for me. Cause one thing about it, conform. You said conform. Oh, you said conform. No. Yeah, no, but you knew you learned how to talk to me, so. That's all I say in there. And that is why I don't like dealing with people. Cause when they have a certain title, they be going crazy in there. It's just like, uh... I want you to know if I ever caught you off of the park a lot of And then if you like me, you going from job that's like, listen, if they don't want to pay, tell them get their ass out. And it's like, get your ass out. You go to another job and it's just like, listen, if they don't want to pay, then you got to like convince them. And it's just like, listen. Then you go to another job and it's just like, listen, but if they don't want to pay, then you just got to be like, sir, and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, oh my God, bro. I'm not doing this like, and I've never been like this. And it's just like, I'm so sorry that I'm not sorry that I'm causing havoc everywhere. But it's just like, it's not me bro it's not me like we're not even supposed to be doing this shit i'm always reminding y'all that we have things to do right see somebody like me i'm always thinking like okay well if i'm giving all my time to something that i do not want to do how is this going to turn out for me knowing that i have like a soul mission and i'm still thinking about like okay well capitalism do you want to be on the street do you want to be a gypsy? You know what I'm saying? Okay, right now my lease is ending and it's just like, I do not want to renew it. I do not want to be here. It's just like, I don't want to be in this state, period. I'd be feeling like, I want to go. I want to like go somewhere. And I can, but I cannot. You feel me? I don't know. I'm a Libra. <laughs> People at work are crazy as hell and they have whole ass relationships. I be looking at them like, what the fuck? But you know what? I realize like a lot of people, especially in this day and age, they just doing that shit cause like they are fucking lonely. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they are with the wrong people. And I don't be saying this just to make myself feel better about being out here in these streets, right? I'm not in these streets, I be home, but I'm just saying like, a lot of people are together because like they just codependent as fuck. Like, if you look at it, you probably not even supposed to be with the person that you're with. I'm so happy for the people that are supposed to be together. That shit is so cute. I love love. Like, that is so cute. Like, that is so cute. But a lot of people are weird, you know? I don't even go on dates because, like, people are just strange, you know? Because I just feel like I cannot waste my time. I cannot do this. I cannot do this. Like, people would think about it like, oh, you know, free meal, this, that, and the third. Like... When I think about my time, I think about like, okay, so what you trying to do? Like, what you trying to do? You trying to do what you trying to do? Okay, I'm not trying to do what you trying to do. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I'm trying to do shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to get shit done. Like, or what you trying to do? Like, what you want? If you want some like, oh, you know, like, I don't got a plan. Like, yeah, I'm just here. Like, I'm living. I'm, no. That is not going to work for me. Like, that is not going to work for me. You cannot, bruh, don't be a scrub. Rule number one. Don't be a scrub, like, rule number one is do not be a scrub. Like, I know that life is hard, bruh, I'm two seconds away of turning into a scrub, I swear, like, I don't wanna do this shit. But listen, don't be a scrub, like, we're in this together. The world is trying to turn you into a scrub, did you know that? No, seriously, seriously, get serious, get serious, seriously. No. Okay, stop. I feel like, honestly, let's talk about it, I feel like I should be a relationship guru. Because all the relationship gurus that be making buku money off that shit, they are not in relationships. They just be saying basic stuff. I be dropping real gems. Listen, I'm listen, I'm gonna drop a gem right now, right? I feel like you really have to know yourself to be with somebody else, right? Because listen, a relationship is a team, right? You cannot be together because like you in love, like that is goofy as fuck it is 
perfectly normal to want to be attracted to your partner is perfectly normal to want to be in love with your partner but that is not why you should be in a relationship and that's why i said before people are just in relationships like just because like i be hearing people at work talking about yeah my boyfriend this and a third and i'm looking at them like hmm, that's weird because i could really smell you through my mask right now so that's strange that's what y'all do i don't do that type of shit but y'all do that type of shit one of my co-workers she's talking about like oh what do y'all think matters most in a relationship i mean in a proposal the proposal itself the ring or uh like what he says like what what stupid shit he said bruh i said a whole tongue twister just now i'm like what means the most what y'all think i said comment below i'm gonna tell y'all her answer though she says i just care about like the setting because like she's into spooky shit so she was like oh if you like propose to me in a graveyard like i would love that like i would just be going crazy like i don't care if it's a like a ring pop or nothing and i'm just looking at her i'm like okay yeah that's you that is why you should not be in relationships because like i'm not even on here trying to sell nobody out but her situation is crazy like i'm gonna just say her man is living good like her man is living good he's blessed like he's blessed trust me he's blessed back to the gym you should really you should really like know yourself you know it will be easier to like navigate what you want and what you don't want you know and i know y'all probably thinking like okay like duh but no a lot of people do not get that a lot of people be like oh like he winked at me like yeah we in a relationship he calls me on my name but she be beating on me <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know niggas be getting beat on out here right like you know they be getting beat sometimes i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie these movies will have you thinking like oh yeah like love is this and the third like i'm not gonna lie to you i'm gonna bring it back to the signs as a libra like we look at we look at love like a fantasy we want it to be perfect you know what i'm saying and i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of like that the media the media and like hella shit is trying to program people into this like Either you gotta be in struggle love or you gotta be like a thought of some sort. You gotta sell yourself in some type of way in order to like push yourself into like spaces. I don't know. Not me. My hair looks nuts. This is crazy. I look nuts. Oh no, baby. You're on the internet? Okay. Stay out of my business. Okay, yeah. The single girls, for instance, like the single girls are dressing like the rapper girls. And then the rapper girls are just like strippers, so. So then the rapper girls, they rap about what they rap about. But then I'm looking at the singer girls like, so do you sing or? Cause I could have sworn that girl that was in Fifth Harmony could sing. And when I was on Twitter, I could have sworn I saw her in a G string. So I was just like, what the hell is going on? Oh my god like i'm really burning up though i'm kind of not kind of i'm like tired of seeing ass on the internet it's just like this is all we have to offer this is it like i'm over it i'm barely on instagram i really feel like a grandma anytime i be trying to use something on instagram because i'm like bro y'all chase something again like i don't know how to use tiktok i don't know how to use like well instagram i don't fuck i be on there like okay so what do i gotta click like what's going on i told you i still don't know my number like this is like it's just i guess this hot box was about who knows i'll see when i'm editing it but um oh okay so i know people are like sick of talking about this but like how y'all feel about a slap like i have a little bit left so we might as well talk about a slap right okay so boom i feel like okay if i'm looking at it like in plain sight um yeah you could see that he was laughing and then what he did he turned to shorty shorty was like oh yeah like what and then he was like oh she's tight and he went up and he was like Bop. but then i felt like when he sat down he like yelling in front of c like don't talk about my fucking wife it's like but why you said it twice like he yelled it twice like you was dead laughing like we saw you laughing like you was laughing whatever he like i won't what the fuck like nigga that punched me <laughs> he like i said a joke like 
and nobody like nobody you know <laughs> so he's up there tight so i feel like with will like he's like sick of it you know everybody's picking on him he's like okay you know what this is my moment so he already knew that he was gonna win because y'all was just boycotting it a couple years ago whatever you already knew he was gonna win that's why he was front seat okay boom so i don't know maybe me personally i feel like it was orchestrated but i feel like he kind of went off script and was like yeah pop like yeah like yeah like nobody's gonna mess with me like what's up you know he's been through a lot he's been through a lot i'm not gonna bring up what they've been through because like you know you cannot be in people's business you cannot be in people's marriage like that so i'm just gonna buy my business but y'all be saying like oh yeah she's in love with Tupac. you like y'all be saying it y'all be saying it it be y'all it be y'all the internet believe this man like oh yeah like yeah look at you yeah he's trying to wash off a bunch of things like in his career you remember like you know six degrees when he was like banging that white boy but i don't know that shit is crazy if it was me, I feel like if it was me, me, like me, like I feel like if it was me personally, like hosting the Oscars, I'm up there, I'm going crazy, and somebody came and popped me in my face, like me, everybody would have been brawling. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. They would have touched their closest nemesis and been like, pop, because the way I would have went crazy, bruh, it would have been like, full five. Everybody would have been going crazy, like, if it was me, personally. I'm not saying he should have done that. I'm just saying that's why y'all don't need me up there. I feel like they did it for ratings. Don't nobody watch that? Don't nobody, don't. I don't know, nobody don't, don't nobody watch that. Don't, no, nobody watches that. <laughs> Everybody's merch went up, you know how they do, so whatever, bro. It's always me. What else do I have to get off my chesticles? Y'all think that's catching on or no? Oh, you said stop. Y'all not gonna peer pressure me into finishing this? I'm done. I'm signing out. I don't got shit else to say. Listen, only the fittest of the fittest shall survive, you know? So, thank you so much for watching this video. I am sweatier than a bitch. And you're gonna stand right in front of me too, that's crazy. I gotta charge my battery and then we're gonna skedaddle. Not in this video, you gotta watch the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, let's go ahead and share. We might as well share it, we might as well share it. We might as well turn on your post notifications. You might as well like. Cause when you're on it, I'll be on it. Like if you're on it, I'll be on it too. If you're on it, like we're a team. Guess who's gonna see you in the next video? Huh? And you said what? Bruh, I was using a pink lighter. I told you. I was sitting on it. That's crazy. I honestly could have suffocated in here. Look, she said she don't want no scrub, nigga. But since we got a bag, she been trying to fuck with us. She stuck up on the game like...